guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I appreciate you watching. Today's video, this week's video, is going to be a flip through of my online learning virtual planning uh, happy planner. So with COVID in March of 2020, here in Central Florida, our school system shut down and the kids were doing uh, distance learning, online learning. Um, so from March, April, and May, we did all of that. We did online learning. Um, and I had some plans. I had a planner, I had a notebook that I did. And then we had summer and then when fall came, we decided to continue the distance learning. Um, so, when fall came, I decided I needed an actual planner to keep up on my daughter's assignments. She was a fourth grader, um, and I wanted to be sure that we got everything done that we needed to get done. Since this was a new thing for us with the homeschool, online learning, whatever you want to call it, um, I didn't want anything to slip through the cracks. So I grabbed a teacher happy planner, and this worked out perfectly for what I needed it to. So I'm gonna give you just a quick flip through of how I did things. Um, I don't know if anybody uh, out there is continuing to do online learning. This might help for homeschool learning. Um, we are actually going back to our brick and mortar school in fall. My daughter will be a fifth grader. Um, so we thought it was important for her to get back into school and get back to her uh, normal routine and gear up for middle school. So really quick, this is our happy planner. Um, in August, I was just kind of, as you can see, learning how this planner was going to work for me. So this was our first week of school. It was just some notes. Um, I wasn't really sure how we were gonna do. And this is our second week of school and I pretty much kept this layout um, and this way of doing things throughout the entire school year. So the way the teacher planner is set up, as you can see, you have seven columns, five rows. So your rows are the days that you're in school, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then your seven columns are your classes or anything that you really want them to be. So what I did with this was I made our first column our Zoom schedule for Zoom classes. And then each course she was taking, the elective course and then stuff that we just needed to remember to do and then each day I wrote out what she needed to do that day in that course and then I highlighted it when we were done um, this last column here she needed to mark off attendance every single day on her iPad which she used this what she used for her assignments and then I had her doing extra spelling words and morning work just so we were kind of staying on top of everything. So this is really, I use the monthly of each month to kind of keep track of what she was reading outside of what the teacher had assigned. Um, so I just kept, you know, she's got a, my daughter has a ton of chapter books. So I just kept the list of what she was reading each month, um, what days off, anything like that that I needed to recall. I was working from home on Mondays and Wednesday afternoons um, to kind of help her with anything she needed help with. So this is pretty much how it went. Um, we had a great school year. Like if we had a day off, I marked it off. It was really kind of hard to get into the swing of things. It took us quite a while. This is October. And here they had um, special kind of dress up days. So I just made sure we knew what those were. Um, it took us a while to kind of get the hang of how online learning was going to go, the Zoom schedules, but it was not too bad. Um, now that it's over, our last day of school was June 4th. Um, now that it's over, I kind of am like, wow, that was, that was really nice. <laughs> that was really cool to do. I loved using this planner. Um, this planner was so much fun to use. I loved that it. it was definitely able to keep me on track 
with all of her assignments. She never got behind in her schoolwork. She never got behind um, with anything. So I was so proud of her keeping up on things and keeping me in the loop as well. Um, so this was, we're already into December now that I'm flipping. And I would decorate here and there. I didn't go over the top with decorating, but it was fun to decorate with some of that. Um, I also took out extra weeks. As you can see, there were some months like December and January, we weren't in school all month long because of breaks. So I just took those out and left the weeks that we actually were in school. Um, and here I've decided after January, instead of highlighting each individual day a different color, I just picked one color and kind of went with it for the week. Eventually, I'm just going to pick, I think it was this color, and just kept it all. <laughs> I kept it all the rest of the school year. That's it. I'm done. So, yeah, not overly um, decorated, but enough. Enough to keep it interesting um, and fun to look at. But, yeah, it was an interesting year for anybody that did online learning or distance learning. I'm sure you understand completely. Um... It was something that I never thought I would do. Um, I have friends that homeschool through different programs, but I never thought I would actually have to do it. I considered it when my daughter first started kindergarten, but um, I work a full-time job, so I knew it would be very difficult to pull that off. But um, now that we had to do it for a year, didn't really have to, but we chose to do that. Um, it was an interesting experience. Um, I don't like the reason we were put in the experience, but it is what it is. And we come out the other side and we're ready. We are ready to go back to school. This I just filled in because we didn't have any of those assignments that week and it turned out really pretty. We're ready to go back to brick and mortar. We're ready to get into our routine again. So it'll, it'll be here before we know it. This is May, this was the last month of school. We had some uh, state testing that we had to do and some other assignments we had to get wrapped up. And then the last week of school was pretty much, pretty much nothing. <laughs> they were just ready to go. So that is my uh, teacher happy planner that I use for online learning. I just wanted to kind of share it with you guys see if anybody um, needed that for future online learning or homeschool ideas or whatever it might be helpful. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't yet, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.